This tutorial will teach you how to submit an event request using the new online scheduling software. During this tutorial, if you have any questions, please contact the Event Management Office at area code 540-568-6867 or 540-568-7901. There are two ways to access the scheduling software. You may go to the Event Management website www.jmu.edu slash event management. In the bottom left corner of the page, under online forms, click submit an event request. Or you may go directly to the software http colon slash slash ems.jmu.edu slash virtual ems. To log into the software, click on My Account and choose Login. Use your JMU EID and password. Once you have logged in, you can view my requests, submit a new request, browse for events, or browse for space to check facility availability, or locate group, which will give you a listing of your organization's daily events. If you have questions, refer to the help text. The event management website will give you additional services, policies, and procedures related to event planning on campus. You may access additional training videos or review room setup standards. Okay, let's submit an event request. The first thing to do is decide the date that you are requesting. You can click on the calendar and navigate to the date that you are looking to request. If you have a recurring event, click on Recurrence. You may have weekly recurrences, monthly recurrences, or random ad hoc occurrences. Click Apply Recurrence once you have indicated your additional dates. At any time that you would like to remove the additional recurrences, just click Remove Occurrence. Indicate the start and end time for your event. You'll notice that the default is one hour. If you need additional time, you may make the changes by typing or by clicking on the clock. Click the facility pull-down to indicate the building you are interested in viewing. Indicate the number in attendance for your event. The setup type is very important. Please refer back to the help text room setup standards for more information regarding each setup. After choosing the setup type, click Find Space. In the grid, you will see a list of rooms that are available and meet your specifications. To choose a room, click on the plus sign. You will notice that it goes to the selected location above. If you need additional rooms, click on the other plus signs. If you've made a mistake, you can remove a room by clicking on the red X. After choosing your room, please click on the Details tab. Enter information regarding your event. The event type will be used as a filter to search on the public calendar of events. If you have additional questions about event types, please contact the Event Management Office. The organization will be pre-populated based on your login. Please choose your name out of the available contacts. The phone number and email will then be populated. If you need to make changes to your phone number or email, please contact the Madison Union Scheduling Office at 540-568 6330. The Other Information section will give us additional details regarding your request. Will there be food offered at your event? Remember, if you choose non-catered food, additional approvals are necessary from Dining Services. Do you need additional setup time to your event? If so, and you need more than one hour, please indicate that in the box below. Also, if there are any additional equipment needs, please indicate those in the box. 
If there's a website related to your event, please give us the URL. Remember, this is only a request. The event will be confirmed by the scheduling authority at a later date. The request will be examined within 48 hours, except during opening of the books in March and the beginning of each semester. Please indicate that you have read the terms and conditions. Click on the box and submit your event. The reservation details will give you information about the request that you just submitted. Please note that the status is web request. Once a scheduler acts on your request, this will change to either confirmed if nothing else is required, tentative if there are additional forms or diagrams to be completed, or denied if the request was denied. Please refer to the Part 2 training video for more information regarding editing the reservation, adding or canceling bookings, or additional details related to your reservation. Thank you very much.